Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Hubris Model School Academy. My name is Mr. Lan. I will be walking you through fourth grade mathematics. And today we are going to be talking about uh, week number one and day number four, content of the curriculum. So if you've got your curriculum, you've got your workbook over there, please turn to page number 21. If not, you're welcome just to watch on the board with me. Today we're going to be talking about place values for the millions. We're going to be talking about numbers in the millions, and we're going to be breaking down those numbers, decomposing those numbers into their place values, and those numbers are going to be in the millions. What are the millions? The millions are going to be numbers that have seven digits to them. Okay, so let's try to demonstrate on the board. You are going to, you're going to see what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are with our board. So we're going to be talking about the millions okay numbers in the millions or seven digit numbers okay seven digit numbers which are going to be numbers in the millions okay all right you're getting advanced right now you're a fourth grade student right so let's try to talk about that so what's an example of that number well an example of that number is going to be something like one million five hundred forty three thousand 123. So try to decompose this number into its place value. So they call it decomposition. Decompose this number into different values that the digits represent. Remember, the one over here is going to have a value. The one over here is going to have a different value. Why? Because they are in different places in this number. All right, so what is the value of three? All right, you can remember that. That's gonna be three sticks over there, right? Because you can remember that, all right? Because we are gonna be counting by units. We're gonna be counting by ones. We are in the ones column right now. So three is gonna represent three units, all right? What about two over here? Well, the two is in the tens column and it is going to represent 20, all right? So the value of digit two and this number is 20. You remember that. All right. What about in this column? This number is the uh, this column is the H column, and that's going to be in the hundreds column. All right. So this represents what does this represent? 100. Okay, that represents 100 for you. All right. What about this column over here? This column is going to be in the thousands category, and um, digit number three represents three. Thousand. Okay, you remember that? I believe you can. Now, what about this column over here? This column represents the hundreds category, and digit number four is going to have a value. Uh, sorry, pardon me. It's going to be in the tens of thousands. Pardon me. So four is going to represent forty thousand. Okay, forty thousand. Now over here we are in the hundreds of thousands category. And this five over here is going to have a value of 500,000. And this one right now is going to be in the millions category. This is the millions right now. And this is going to have a value of one million. All right. So that's how you write your one million. So you're going to count uh, three digits from the right, you're going to put a comma over there, count another three digits from the right, put another comma over there, and then you have one million. Well, we haven't counted by the millions before. What does it mean to count by the millions? Well, it's pretty much simple, just like you're going to be counted by your thousands over there. Well, one million, okay, so that's six zeros in front of one, and then two million, all right, three millions, Three million, okay, four million, four million, all right, and guess what comes right after that, it's going to be five million, right, five million, all right, 
6 million. All right. What comes out of 6 million? Well, 7 million. You got it. I trust you got it. After 7 million, what comes? It's going to be 8 million. And right after 8 million, that's going to be 9 million. Right? And right after 9 million, guess what you have? You got 10 million. All right? 10 million. And you can count by 10 millions right now. You can say 10 million, and 20 million, and 30 million, 40 million, 50 million, 60 million, 70 million, 80 million, 90 million, until you get to 100 million. Then you can count by 100 million, 100 million, 200 million, 300 million, 400 million, 500 million, 600 million, 700 million, 800 million, 900 million, and you get to 1 billion. All right, so those are really huge and large numbers, but you kind of get the idea and you can actually walk your way from here, understanding place values is going to follow the same logic over there. So remember seven digit numbers, units, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and in the millions. All right, so please go ahead and turn to page number 21. You are going to see additional examples and exercises over there that you can use to master this content a little bit better. All right, I want to thank you for joining me today. This is Heroes Modern School Academy, week one, day number four, mathematics. Until next time, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with hero's body.